hi everyone welcome back i hope you're doing well i'm going to be showing you how i make this diy um, hair mist for a dry itchy scalp um, this is packed with soothing moisturizing ingredients that's going to help calm um, your scalp if you're dealing with a dry itchy scalp this is really helpful um, so i'm going to show you my entire process step by step um, how i make this mist um, so let's jump right in and if this is your first time stopping by my name is esther and i make uh, diy hair and skincare videos and i also sell my uh, products on my website and I also have some online formulating courses. Everything will be linked in the description box. So let's jump right in. So I have the formula um, written in percents and I also have this converted to grams for a 145 gram batch. Um, so I'm going to get started weighing out all my ingredients and I'll have links to where I purchased my ingredients from. Those links will also be in the description box um, as well. So my first ingredient is going to be uh, my distilled water. To my distilled water, I'm going to add in my MSM powder. So MSM is rich in sulfur. There's a lot of information about this ingredient online. Um, but this is amazing. Um, it has anti-inflammatory benefits and it's also rich in antioxidants. Um, this is water soluble. So I'm just going to mix this um, really well until the powder dissolves. Um, so the recommendation from the supplier that I use, um, they recommended heating this up till it reached a temperature of at least 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. But before I heat this up, I'm going to um, zero out my scale and I'm going to weigh out my um, jar and take note of the weight because when I heat this up, some water is going to evaporate. So you want to make sure you take note of the weight so that way you can replace any water loss after the heating process. I'm going to work on the rest of my ingredients. I'm going to add my lavender hydrosol. This has anti-inflammatory benefits, so it's good for calming and soothing your scalp. I'm going to use um, sodium lactate. Um, sodium lactate is a humectant, so it's going to help um, attract moisture to your hair, to your scalp. Um, and then I'm going to add in some panthenol. Um, panthenol um, helps to attract and retain moisture also to your hair to your scalp and I'm using some apple cider vinegar this is raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar this is going to help soothe irritation as well and I'm using some hibiscus extract this is completely optional hibiscus is good for dry itchy scalp um, it's rich in amino acids so it's going to help nourish your scalp and then I'm using a blend of essential oils, uh, peppermint and tea tree, which is also good for dry scalp and it's going to help improve blood circulation. So to blend in my essential oils, I'm going to be using a solubilizer because if I don't use one, my essential oils are just going to be sitting on top of this um, hair mist. So this solubilizer is going to help blend in the essential oils. Um, if you don't have this one, you can also use uh, polysorbate 20 or 80. Um, so I'm just mixing this um, in. Um, it really helps to use something like an overhead stirrer. But if you don't have one, just keep mixing by hand um, to blend everything in. Um, so after mixing, it was a little bit cloudy, but I set it aside and then I'm going to work on my next ingredient. I'm going to work on my um, preservative. So I'm using vegetable glycerin first. Um, vegetable glycerin is going to attract moisture to your scalp, to your hair. Um, and this is also going to help blend in my preservative. My preservative in this formula is Uxil K903. Um, Uxil K903 is a natural 
preservative but it doesn't blend very well in water-based formulations so i'm adding the glycerin to it so that way i can blend it into my formula So I'm adding in the preservative to the solubilizer um, water mixture and I'm just going to keep mixing to blend everything in. Um, you want to do this for a few minutes just to make sure your preservative is well mixed into your formula. Um, so this is what it's looking like. It's not completely clear. Um, it's going to clear up a little bit after some time but it's not going to be a clear um, mixture. So I'm just going to set this aside and I'm taking off my, the, my water jar from the heat and I'm going to take note of the weight because um, some water is going to be lost during the heating process. So what I'm going to do is replace any water loss and that's what I'm going to do here. So after replacing the water loss, I'm, I checked the temperature, it was at 171 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is really hot, um, I can't add in the rest of my ingredients just yet. Um, so I'm just going to set this to the side and let it cool down to below 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So once my mixture had cooled down to below 100 degrees Fahrenheit, I combined um, both um, jars together and I just kept mixing to combine. Um, so you don't want to add your sensitive, heat sensitive ingredients like your essential oils, your extracts. Um, you don't want to add that um, when your mixture is hot. Um, so after mixing, this is what everything was looking like. Um, so it is, like I said, a little bit cloudy, but it does clear up slightly after a day or so. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and check the pH. Of course, we always want to check the pH when we make our water-based products for our hair our skin. So I just weighed out a small amount of my hair mist and I um, used my pH meter to take the reading. And the reading the natural pH was at 4.63. I didn't need to do any adjustments. I was so happy. Um, keep in mind that apple cider vinegar is going to lower the pH naturally as well. Um, so this is what the final pH was. This is what the product is looking like. Um, I did notice a very slight separation um, in my mixture. So I went ahead and I used my um, mixer to just mix it some more for a few minutes and that's what I'm doing here. Some my DIY for dry itchy scalp is pretty much ready. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and package this up and you can make substitutions and um, adjustments to the ingredients. I do suggest leaving the MSM because it's really amazing for your hair, for your scalp. Um, but you can make adjustments to the humectants, to the essential oils, to the extracts. Um, I use this um, hair mist every other day and it is amazing if you have um, dry itchy scalp. I have scalp psoriasis and this is just so soothing on my scalp. So I hope you find this formula helpful. Um, I also show you how this um, hair mist looks like about two days later. So it did clear up slightly, um, but I hope you enjoyed this formula. You enjoyed my process. Um, please don't forget to uh, subscribe um, if you've not, and don't forget to turn on your notifications. Um, so that way you don't miss any new videos that I upload. And don't forget to like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.